And an opportunity to save lives, not just here in Jacksonville, but around the country. Check it out. 25 student leaders with I'm a Star Foundation gave solutions for addressing youth mental health and suicide at the White House, along with lots of other things as well. So just for some perspective, according to the World Health Organization, suicide is the third leading cause of death among 15 to 29 year olds. 720,000 people die by suicide every single year. So certainly something that I I love that we're talking about. So joining me now, I have Ms. Kennedy Larkins, who is a senior at First Coast High School, Jordan Sanders, a sophomore at Rains High School, and then also I'm a Star Foundation, Betty Bernie with us this morning. Um, Got to talk about this organization in a bit because it truly is making a difference in our community. But first, what an opportunity for you two. What was that like at the White House? It was so fun and amazing. I was happy to be able to share my experience yeah. and everything. Jordan, what was it like for you? I, I really enjoyed it. You know, I've always wanted to go to the White House since I could honestly remember at yeah. a young age. So really having this surreal experience where I was not only at the White House, but I was speaking at the right. White House, it, it just felt amazing. It did. All right. So I'm going to skip down. Kenny, I was going to ask you the first question, but since you said that, Jordan, um, you remember you were my co-host for the Teacher of the Year Awards four years ago. Mm -hmm. So we actually um, have a picture of Jordan <laughs> in the White wow. House. This was four years ago. You were in elementary school yes, then. Yes. <laughs> and so look, distinguished gentleman in the White House, you actually made it happen. Tell me what you shared. What were some of the solutions that you shared? Yes, ma'am. So for my speech, I was the closer um after everybody gave their points i would basically round it off and in our speech we were just talking about some of the things we like to see from the white house the mm -hmm. people who were in the white house listening to our speech and how we could help improve youth mental health around us yeah. so some of the topics we might have went over were like youth mental health clubs or maybe like adding you know how we have wellness wednesday in jacksonville so right. maybe trying to integrate that but like make it better so it can reach more kids you know mm -hmm. just giving our personal opinions on how we can improve the youth mental health around us awesome kennedy let me bring you in this conversation um you spoke specifically about youth resilience and when i tell you psychologists say that is truly the key no matter what age you are at overcoming some of the issues that we all deal with Yes, so I was able to share and give my own lived experience from when I was a child. Mm -hmm. And so being able to set that out there and let them know that it's okay to not be okay all the time, I was happy to witness the people like Jordan and some of the other stars, so it was amazing. Yeah, I love it. Let's um, roll a little bit of a video because it wasn't just about mental health. You guys also um, did some other discussions about driving safety. So we have a PSA um, that you guys sent to DC for them to be able to see. And this was actually kind of part of that process. So if we could roll that video of the driving PSA. Did you see what they put on Instagram about us? Um, no. Can I see it? No, you're driving. So I can still see it. You're driving. Just let me see the phone. You're driving. Then Distracted driving is the number one cause of car accidents. In All right, so then this goes on to talk about distracted driving. And I mean, I think this makes it so real because that's probably a conversation, you know, Betty, that happens amongst teenagers all the time. And this was somebody holding someone else accountable. And that's really what your organization is all about. Exactly. And that distracted driving video really hit home to the National Transportation Safety Board. In fact, the chairman was in there at the time that it was playing. Wow. And she said, I want this. Mm -hmm. I want it. Because it's kids telling other kids about what happens when you are texting while driving or if you're arguing about something or, or any kinds of things that can take away the resiliency. Um, take lives yeah. and um, so what we're all about is trying to make sure that kids voices are, are, heard, are, yeah. are heard and there's another PSA that's going to drop soon specifically about mental health and suicide Jordan Kennedy I'm so proud of you I cannot wait to see what's next okay real quick we have to go but what do you want to be when you grow up I'd like to be president of the United States. Woo, I love it. Kennedy, what about you? I want to be a pharmacist. Yes, I love it. Big dreams. Betty, you are doing the work. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Make sure you're looking at I'm a Star Foundation. What a great organization producing some amazing young people.